Introducing a new dimension in automotive excellence. A winning combination of classic simplicity and understated elegance. It also handles quite well. The 1976 Toyota Celica LB with a practical lift back and fold down rear seat. The Toyota Celica. Try one. When a person hasn't pushed their body to the physical limits, they don't realize what they're missing. It's just a fantastic feeling. It's, um, it's a feeling of really well-being. Your mind is so much more active. You feel great. You feel like a million. This is Timex. And this is Elaine Tanner. When you're swimming, you do it so naturally that you don't really realize where your arms are. But when you've got a watch on, you can actually feel it on there. You can feel it going in the water. You can feel the water going around it. You become more aware of your movement in the water. Timex. Look what you've got going for you. He even had it tended to. Oh, you know. <laughs> that was good. The 1976 Toyota Corolla has a terrific list of standard features. Electric rear window defroster. Standard. Reclining bucket seats. Standard. Power front disc brakes. Standard. On Chevette, Pinto and Vega, they're either not available or come as expensive options. Yet our Toyota Corolla is still lower priced than all three. Toyota Corolla. Try one. Canadian racing driver Craig Hill takes to the ice on four Goodyear ice radios. I had visions of crashing through the boards and doing all sorts of things. But the ability of these tires to change direction is what really surprised me. I can still turn the car around, I can maneuver it, I can turn around in center ice, and the, the feeling that the tires give you is one that you're on studs. The Goodyear ice radio, traction on ice without studs. We haven't hit the boards yet. This is the toughest whitewater slalom course in the world. It was built for the 1972 Olympic Games in Munich, Germany. Looks tough enough for one of our Timex tests. Yes, this course is extremely difficult. The vertical walls of this man-made course make the water very turbulent. Just as Carl drops over beside the rock, he has to quickly turn into a fast upstream eddy and then negotiate the gate. Carl did that well. That's got to be tough work. Here he's caught in a hole and does an Eskimo roll to exit from it as fast as possible. With the course narrowing here, the speed is tremendous. Carl has to work hard to ferry across the current. Well, that Timex is some watch. That is also some course. Yes, it's a challenge to the world's best. 